Question 1. Before starting your route, it's essential to A. Check for sleeping students on the bus. B. Ensure the radio is working. C. Make sure the bus is clean. Answer. A. Check for sleeping students on the bus. Before starting your route, always ensure no students are left on the bus from a previous route. Question 2. The overhead inside rearview mirror is used to A. Monitor traffic behind the bus. B. Watch students inside the bus. C. Check the tires. Answer. B. Watch students inside the bus. The overhead inside rearview mirror allows the driver to observe all student activity inside the bus. Question 3. When unloading students, you should ensure A. They run to their homes immediately. B. They wait for your signal to cross the street. C. They leave any belongings behind. Answer. B. They wait for your signal to cross the street. Safety is paramount, and students should always wait for the driver's signal before crossing. Question 4. If a student drops an object while crossing the street, they should a. Stop and pick it up immediately. b. Continue walking and inform the driver. c. Wait for a car to pass and then retrieve it. Answer. b. Continue walking and inform the driver. The student should never stop to pick up an object. Instead, they should inform the driver. Question 5. The danger zone around the school bus is a. 10 feet b. 5 feet C. 12 feet. Answer. A. 10 feet. The danger zone is the area around the bus where children are most at risk of not being seen by the driver. Question 6. When approaching a railroad crossing, you should A. Speed up to clear the tracks quickly. B. Stop, look, and listen for any approaching trains. C. Rely on signals to tell you if a train is coming. Answer. B. Stop, look, and listen for any approaching trains. Always exercise caution at railroad crossings. Question 7. The stop arm of a school bus. A. Is a suggestion for other drivers to stop. B. Should be used only in school zones. C. Is used to indicate that students are getting on or off the bus. Answer. C. Is used to indicate that students are getting on or off the bus. The stop arm alerts other drivers to stop. Question 8. If a student is not at the bus stop in the morning, you should A. Wait indefinitely until they arrive. B. Honk the horn to alert them. C. Wait for a short period, then continue on your route. Answer. C. Wait for a short period, then continue on your route. While it's essential to ensure students are picked up, you can't wait indefinitely. Question 9. The most dangerous time for loading and unloading students is A. When other vehicles are present. B. During heavy rain. C. When students are running late. Answer. A. When other vehicles are present. Other vehicles can pose a significant risk if they don't observe bus signals. Question 10. In the event of a fire on the bus, the first step should be A. Use the fire extinguisher. B. Evacuate the students. C. Call the fire department. Answer. B. Evacuate the students. The primary concern is the safety of the students. Question 11. When driving in foggy conditions, you should A. Turn on high beam headlights. B. Speed up to get out of the fog faster. C. Reduce speed and turn on low beam headlights. Answer. C. Reduce speed and turn on low beam headlights. It's crucial to ensure visibility and safety. Question 12. The rear door of a school bus is used. A. Only for loading students. B. As an emergency exit. C. For the driver's entrance and exit. Answer. B. As an emergency exit. The rear door is primarily an emergency exit. Question 13. If a student has to cross the street to board the bus they should. A. Cross immediately after the bus stops. B. Wait for the driver's signal to cross. C. Cross the street before the bus arrives. Answer. B. 
Wait for the driver's signal to cross. The driver will ensure it's safe for the student to cross. Question 14. When the yellow lights on the school bus are flashing, it means A. The bus is preparing to stop. B. The bus is currently loading or unloading students. C. There's a mechanical issue with the bus. Answer. A. The bus is preparing to stop. The yellow lights are a warning to other drivers. Question 15. The best way to ensure no students are left on the bus at the end of a route is to A. Ask students as they exit. B. Conduct a walk-through inspection. C. Check the rearview mirror. Answer. B. Conduct a walk-through inspection. This ensures that no students are overlooked. Question 16. If a student is misbehaving on the bus, you should A. Stop the bus and address the behavior. B. Ignore it and continue driving. C. Call the police. Answer. A. Stop the bus and address the behavior. Safety is paramount and distractions can be dangerous. Question 17. The maximum seating capacity for a school bus. A. Should never be exceeded. B. Can be exceeded if students are small. C. Is just a recommendation. Answer. A. Should never be exceeded. Overloading can be a safety hazard. Question 18. Before changing lanes, you should A. Rely on your mirrors only. B. Signal and check your mirrors and blind spots. C. Ask a student to check for you. Answer. B. Signal and check your mirrors and blind spots. Always ensure the lane is clear before moving. Question 19. If you hear a train approaching but can't see it, you should a. Proceed with caution. B. Stop and wait until you're sure no train is coming. C. Speed up to clear the tracks quickly. Answer. B. Stop and wait until you're sure no train is coming. Safety first at all railroad crossings. Question 20. The first step in evacuating a bus in an emergency is A. Open all windows and doors. B. Get the attention of the students and give clear instructions. C. Call 911. Answer. B. Get the attention of the students and give clear instructions. Clear communication is key in emergencies. Question 21. When driving on icy roads, you should A. Brake hard to test traction. B. Reduce speed and increase following distance. C. Maintain your regular speed. Answer. B. Reduce speed and increase following distance. Icy conditions require extra caution. Question 22. If a student has a medical emergency on the bus, you should A. Continue to your destination. B. Stop the bus and call for help. C. Ask other students for advice. Answer. B. Stop the bus and call for help. The well-being of the student is the top priority. Question 23. That the main reason to inspect your bus every day is a. To avoid getting fined. B. To ensure the safety of the students. C. To make sure it's clean. Answer. B. To ensure the safety of the students. Daily inspections can identify potential safety issues. Question 24. If you're unsure about how to handle a situation on the bus, you should. A. Ask the students for their opinion. B. Use your best judgment and continue driving. C. Stop in a safe location and contact your dispatcher or supervisor. Answer. C. Stop in a safe location and contact your dispatcher or supervisor. It's always best to seek guidance in uncertain situations. Question 25. When approaching a drawbridge with no signal, you should A. Speed up to clear the bridge quickly. B. Stop at least 50 feet before the draw of the bridge. C. Honk your horn to alert the bridge operator. Answer. B. Stop at least 50 feet before the draw of the bridge. This ensures safety in case the draw opens. Question 26. If your bus has manual transmission, you should never. A. Coast in neutral. B. Downshift. C. Use the clutch. Answer. A. Coast in neutral. Coasting can reduce your control over the vehicle. Question 27. 
When stopping to pick up students, you should stop. A. At least 10 feet away from them. B. As close as possible to them. C. At least 50 feet away from them. Answer. A. At least 10 feet away from them. This ensures they have a safe area to approach the bus. Question 28. The most common type of emergency for a school bus driver is A. A fire B. A medical emergency C. A flat tire Answer B. A medical emergency With many students on board, medical emergencies are more common than other types. Question 29. If you must evacuate the bus, which students should be evacuated first? A. Those nearest the front B those nearest the emergency exit. C, those with special needs or require assistance. Answer, C, those with special needs or require assistance. It's essential to ensure the safety of the most vulnerable first. Question 30, when driving in heavy traffic, you should. A, weave in and out of traffic to maintain your schedule. B, stay in one lane and maintain a safe following distance. C, use the bus's size to your advantage to merge. Answer, B, stay in one lane and maintain a safe following distance. Safety should always be the top priority. Question 31, if a student brings a weapon onto the bus, you should, A, confiscate it immediately. B, stop the bus and call the police. C, continue to your destination and report it later. Answer, B, Stop the bus and call the police. Safety is paramount and weapons pose a significant risk. Question 32. The best way to handle a disruptive student is to A. Yell at them to get their attention. B. Stop the bus and address the behavior in a calm manner. C. Ignore them and continue driving. Answer. B. Stop the bus and address the behavior in a calm manner. It's essential to ensure a safe environment for all students. Question 33. When approaching a tunnel, you should A. Speed up to clear it quickly. B. Turn on your headlights and reduce speed. C. Honk your horn to alert other drivers. Answer. B. Turn on your headlights and reduce speed. Tunnels can be dark and require extra caution. Question 34. If your bus becomes disabled on railroad tracks, you should A. Try to push the bus off the tracks. B. Evacuate the bus immediately. C. Wait for help inside the bus. Answer. B. Evacuate the bus immediately. It's crucial to ensure the safety of all passengers. Question 35. The safest way to make a turn in a school bus is to A. Make wide turns at high speeds. B. Turn sharply at the last minute. C. Slow down and use turn signals well in advance. Answer. C. Slow down and use turn signals well in advance. This ensures other drivers are aware of your intentions. Question 36. Before starting your route, you should always A. Check the weather forecast. B. Ensure the bus is at full capacity with fuel. C. Make sure all students are seated. Answer. A. Check the weather forecast. Knowing the weather can help you prepare for driving conditions. Question 37. If a student is standing while the bus is moving, you should. A. Tell them to sit down immediately. B. Stop the bus until they are seated. C. Continue driving and ignore them. Answer. B. Stop the bus until they are seated. It's essential to ensure all students are safe while the bus is in motion. Question 38. The most important thing when driving a school bus is A. Staying on schedule B. Keeping the bus clean C. The safety of the students Answer. C. The safety of the students. While other factors are essential, student safety is always the top priority. Question 39. If you're involved in an accident, the first thing you should do is A. Check for injuries B. Call your supervisor C. Exchange information with the other driver Answer A. Check for injuries The well-being of the students and everyone involved is the top priority. Question 40. 
when driving in rainy conditions, you should A. Increase your speed to avoid hydroplaning B. Reduce speed and increase following distance C. Use cruise control to maintain a steady speed Answer B. Reduce speed and increase following distance Wet roads can be slippery and caution is essential Question 41 If you smell smoke while driving, you should A. Continue to your destination B. Stop and investigate the source C. Open the windows to let the smoke out Answer B. Stop and investigate the source It's essential to ensure the safety of the students and address any potential fire hazards Question 42 The primary purpose of mirrors on a school bus is to A. Check your appearance B. Monitor student behavior inside the bus C. Ensure safe operation by providing visibility around the bus Answer C. Ensure safe operation by providing visibility around the bus. Mirrors are crucial for safe driving. Question 43. If a student is running late and chasing after the bus, you should A. Stop and wait for them. B. Continue driving for safety reasons. C. Speed up to avoid them. Answer. B. Continue driving for safety reasons. Stopping can pose a risk to the student and other drivers. Question 44. When a student misses the bus at a designated stop, you should A. Continue on your route and inform the school. B. Turn around and go back to pick them up. C. Wait indefinitely until they arrive. Answer. A. Continue on your route and inform the school. For safety and scheduling reasons, it's essential to maintain the route's timing and inform the school about any missed pickups. Question 45. When driving in heavy traffic, you should A. Weave in and out of traffic to maintain your schedule. B. Stay in one lane and maintain a safe following distance. C. Use the bus's size to your advantage to merge. Answer. B. Stay in one lane and maintain a safe following distance. Safety should always be the top priority.